What's happening folks and welcome to the Steel Series Flux In-Ear Pro Product Review. A lot of people have been asking me more and more about which products do I use, what works the best, uh, is this worth buying, is that worth buying. So I wanted to start doing some product reviews over some of the stuff that I've been using. And I actually got these a couple months ago and I've been using them ever since. I'm going to give you the pros and the cons, what you need to know before making a purchase. And this is an outstanding headset, let's just get right into it. When you're purchasing a headset, the most important aspect, and I can't stress this enough, is going to be sound quality. And in this case, I'm going to throw versatility in with sound quality. They go hand in hand. Uh, it's just like when you're playing Mario, you've got to have Luigi as well. You need the backup. You need them both to have the complete game. And something I've always been a little bit of a skeptic with is anything that goes in my ear. I've never been a huge fan of in-ear headsets, I think that they lack quality and they don't do what they need to do, but times are changing. I've always been that earmuff guy, that big old headset in the gym, that guy, that's me. Looking kind of awkward, walking around on campus on my way to the job, looking weird, got the big headset on. But like I said, times are changing. And we have the Steel Series Flux In-Ear Pro, and I'm kind of pumped to tell you a little bit more. So with sound quality, the most important thing for me is how loud can I get this baby? How loud can I get it while keeping the quality? Boom, I want a high, high end quality. I want the bass in there, giving me that wake up call in the mornings that I need. I'm about to go to the gym, I've had a, a crappy day. I gotta get pumped up. You need to have high end, loud music, and you want that boom, 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 boom. You gotta be able to get yourself moving and, and get what you need to get done throughout the day, and that's important to me. And then with versatility, can you hit the other end, the other side of things? Are you gonna be able to listen to the softer songs, some soft rock, some Beatles? What about the high notes, the low notes? Are you gonna be able to cover all those things? And this headset does it all, thank God. And for all my gamers, let's get out of the music genre here. Let's talk about video games. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty recently, uh, mainly because I wanted to test out this headset. And it comes with a mic, as any headset should if you're looking to play video games and it works great you can hear people sneaking up with you or sneaking up on you I'm able to pinpoint everyone on the map when I hear you know a gunshot go off I'm like boom I know where that guy is I know exactly what's the deal it's kinda of quiet in here I can hear him sneaking up on me all the important aspects of gaming it, it, it fits them all and I, I couldn't believe it it's one of the first headsets that I've used especially in terms of anything that goes inside your ear that's able to combine amazing quality and have the crossover value with gaming while having a very portable headset. I mean, you're talking about just boom and you can go and it comes with a nice little package like I was showing you in the picture before. It's just one of those things where I'm, I'm a little bit in awe. I'm like, damn guys, I need to send them an email. SteelSeries is doing, doing that work. They must have put in a lot of time researching in order to create a product like this. Next up we have comfort. That's right, I said comfort, and it's crucial. And in the past, this has been a big concern of mine, especially with anything that goes in, in my ear, is, is this gonna fit right? How many of you guys have experienced the whole take your headset off and oh my god, my ears are red, it feels like they're ringing, I'm in a little bit of pain here, it just ruins the entire experience. It doesn't matter if the headset worked perfectly or if it cost you $300. If it leaves you in pain afterward, then it's just not a good look. It was a bad investment. Luckily, with the Steel Series Flux, I, I haven't had any trouble with comfort. I wore these for five, six hours in one sitting just to make sure that everything was on point and it was money. And you have silicone tips and comply tips. Uh, it's kind of for to his their own or to his her own. I don't remember how the saying goes with that, but. I like the silicone tips, but I know some people do not, and then you have the comply tips, which basically expand in your ear, and it should fit perfectly. I know you do need to replace comply tips, though, every three or four months. It's a really inexpensive purchase, easy replacement, no big deal. But that's what we've got for comfort. Last up, we have portability, which is pretty self-explanatory. You've got a product that goes directly in your ear. It's very small. You can take it anywhere absolutely anywhere it comes with a nice little package as I mentioned it's about two and a half inches and it's all cushioned out you have no issues with I don't know dropping this product and it blows up it's not gonna happen and you can take it to the park you can take it to school work your friend's house you can watch movies you can talk on Skype there's really no limitations in in terms of portability I mean I wouldn't recommend 
uh, going into the pool or taking a shower with the headset on, but I'm not writing a manual for what not to do for dumbasses. So don't, don't get it all wet and soaked, but I, that, like I said, that shouldn't be an issue for most of us. Don't take a garden hose and spray yourself in the face while you're listening to music. All right, so we've talked about what's good about this headset, the positives. Now let's switch gears and talk a little bit about some of the concerns, some of the cons when dealing with the SteelSeries in-ear pro and number one is price it's hundred and thirty dollars to purchase this item and it is relatively new I don't know how many reviews are out talking about the product but it's a little untested a lot of people might not uh, be ready to make that sort of investment but in my opinion it's very fair hundred and thirty bucks think how much time you spend each day using a headset or each week or each month however you want to break it down I use a headset daily, every single day, whether I'm listening to music, I'm on Skype, I'm on the computer, I'm playing video games, I need a great headset, and this is awesome. This headset, to me, is better than the competition at this price range. But I know that $130 pops right off the page, and some people will get frightened off, scared, and, and it might not be for them. And then number two is gonna be durability, and I'm not really concerned necessarily about steel series and durability because I have other products of theirs and I've never had issues with them lasting and I've beat the shit out of some products. I mean I've thrown headsets, chunked them across the room and and they're still working great for me. However the reason that I'm bringing this up is because it's a question mark. I don't know. I've never used a steel series headset that wasn't over my ear and it's something new for me. I'm not sure if durability will become an issue or it will never be an issue. And the other reason that I'm saying durability is I looked at the warranty, it's only one year, which is kind of short. I wish that it had at least a two year warranty. And in the past, I've never had issues with SteelSeries, but I have had issues with in-ear headsets that they bust out in a couple weeks. And I mean, those are cheap headsets, but you never know. So that's my review. And I'd love to have some feedback. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's9USA. I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP. Peace.